I first started here as Matthew's assistant um, 15 years ago, I knew I was working for a man who was going to achieve great things. And without a doubt, some of those things came true. Now, as I keep telling him, the fact that his schoolboy wizard book didn't take off, unlike the other ones, not his fault. <laughs> Whereas his beautiful picture book on uh, dry stone walling outperformed all expectations. Vagaries of the industry. Now, of course, he's more time to spend with his gorgeous film star wife, jetting off to premieres, chomping free lobster by the pool. We all wish him well with that and with whatever else it is that he decides to do next. What are you going to do next? Oh, I've, <clears throat> I've uh, something big in mind. Uh, fingers crossed I'll be making an announcement about that soon. And he can write that book he's always threatened to. That's right. In fact, I've already started it. But if you're so wonderful and important to this company, why are they getting rid of you? It's entirely mutual, honestly. <laughs> Listen, old chap. There's an open door. You know that. We don't want to lose you. Any new project you've got, anything you write yourself, please, by all means, bring it in. I do want to do something with you. What sort of thing do you have in mind? Well, the kind of stuff you've been bringing in recently, but anything new, anything groundbreaking. Can you be more specific? Oh, uh... People like sci-fi. Enjoying the cake? I'd love to stay, but I said I'd meet Elizabeth. She's doing something in the West End. Oh, typical. <laughs> yeah. I said I'd go. I, I want to go. Please don't go! <laughs> Delta pumps countless rounds into the beast. It lets out a supernatural scream. And then falls. She drops the chainsaw and the flamethrower. She comes and stands over O'Rourke. Delta bangs around into O'Rourke's skull. He dies instantly. It's a blessing. See you on the other side, mate. She nods slowly. She once did to a dying husband. Before the cancer took him. End. Yeah, sure. How did you get oh, yeah, Matt. Matt. This is Dave. David Beethoven, who wrote the script. He just directed a brilliant video for the White Stripes recently. Brilliant, brilliant video. Brilliant. Um, I know it's a stupid question, but what, what is hung, hung, drawn and slaughtered about, Dave? It's, uh, it's a metaphor for cancer. There are different approaches to it. Is that obvious? Yeah, I... Cancer. It's awesome. Was it everything you wanted, Dave? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you were fucking great, Liz. Sorry you're far too old for it. We, uh, want Brittany Murphy for the lead. Don't you, um, don't you have the same American agent as her? Yeah. Yeah, if you could just pop in a word for us, that'd be aces. Let her know how good it is. Yeah. It's a clever script. Well, we'll certainly let them know what we think. Rad did call. <laughs> <laughs> but you were great, Liz, if we can't get Brittany. Okay. You better, um... Mm -hmm. Good luck with it. And who is called Dave Beethoven? That's not a real name. He's not German. Where do people like that come from? And why can't they fuck off back there? How was the office? Oh, it was fine. I'm so pleased to be out of there, I can't tell you. Good, it was long overdue. All they want to publish now is cheap lit and footballer's diaries. I can't do that. And who uses the word radical? <laughs> <laughs> you think I should have turned down that horror reading? 
No, I just think that you're better than that. I mean, Leon should be getting you better parts. Leon told me that Dave Beethoven was the new fast binder. Oh, but Leon doesn't even know who the original fast binder is. I'll tell you that for a fact. No one does. It's just a name you read in time out. I couldn't believe it when I see one of Brittany Murphy. But don't feel insulted because he's a complete twunt. Forget it. Something better will come along. Your country is so cold. Elizabeth, it's boiling. Just put a jumper on. I don't want to wear a jumper. Pop. What are you doing? I do. Just go away, please, and start your book. Oh. Go. Leon's office, please. Have you started? Yeah. Hi, is Leon there? It's Elizabeth calling. Elizabeth, buddy, my love. How's tricks? Hey, Leon. Isn't Beethoven great? He's the new Brian De Palma. So, um, Leon, anything going on out there? Well, of course. I will get you a job. I will do all that may become an agent. More because you are my favourite client. But I have to tell you, Elizabeth, it is incredibly quiet out there at the moment. You want just anything? Liz, what's that noise? Matthew! You're on the phone. What? Why do you such an asshole? Look, I I'm going out. Oh, I've got a meeting. Soon a bit. Please, it's Matt. Personal call. Liz, I just need to take this call. Uh-huh. Matty, buddy. Hello, mate. Are you finished hoovering? Because I'm talking to Liz. Fancy lunch? Yeah, I can meet you for lunch. Yeah, best not tell Elizabeth, OK? No, I won't tell her. See you there. One. Liz, sorry. Who is that? No one. We were saying you will do Holby. Uh-huh. Because it is very quiet out there at the moment. Can you say so, Leon? Bye. No, I want Sean Bean. 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 B-E-A-N. Bean. Sean's in Namibia doing this SAS tactical assault film thing. It's called Hawkwind. What? No. Bean. B as in black. B as in bastard, you black bastard. Yes, call me back. He's got to do a scene with the falcon, and he's refusing to do it in case he gets bird flu. I hate my clients. I hate them. All of them. Well, except Elizabeth. No, her too. I hate all of them. Well, she just needs a job, Lee, you know, get her confidence back. Well, there's plenty of stuff around at the moment. I'm sure we'll get her something. None of us are getting any younger. I am. I'm getting younger. Oh, yeah, of course you are. How was that Dave Beethoven reading? Mm. Where do you find these people? He's awful. He's a arrogant little turd. Yeah, I know, he's a dick. And Beethoven isn't his real name. No, it's Plug. He had it changed by Dean Pohl. <laughs> I know, he's a dick. But he's a talented dick. Talking of which, I've got this great new novelist you should meet. He's written three chapters of a sci-fi thriller. It's genius. He hasn't got a publisher yet. You should move fast. Read and meet. I'll give you a few days heads up before I show it to anyone else. OK. Brilliant. What sort of thing? Yeah, he's brilliant and he's only 19. He's Philip K. Dick meets Vonnegut meets George Lucas. Sort of George Dick gut. Yeah, but that makes him sound like a tit. He's not. He's very clever. It's called Kit Hopkins. I'll send you the three chapters. You'll love it. Sean? Yes? Why are you being such a dick about this? It's a falcon. It's not a fucking chicken. What? No, shut up, Sean. I was not rude to the assistant. Well, he could be crying about any number of things. Madonna's probably just turned up and nicked off his kids. What's it called? The Raccoon. That's the name of a spaceship. Mm. What's a quadlibet? I don't know, an animal? No, it can't be. It says he walked away from this quadlibet. 
Space animal? Why can't this bloke just use easy words? Not enjoying it. I don't get sci-fi. I've no idea if this is genius or nonsense. Then, honey, it's probably nonsense. Yeah, but is it? She Stephen wants sci-fi, and this could be the one that... Oh. It's midnight. It must be Hollywood. Hello? Hey, Sandra, how are you? Good? Yeah, 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 good. Oh, really? Yeah, I know Vincent. Buffalo 66 was great. He wants me? Wow. What's the movie? Well, no, I don't mind incest. Um, so he wants to call here? Okay. Wow, Sandra, this is really exciting. So Vincent, as in Vincent Gallo? He wants me to be the lead in his new movie. I'm the only person he talks about, apparently. You see, sweetheart, that's wonderful. I told you something would come along. That's great. Does it sound good? It's hard to say. She, she's getting Vincent to call tomorrow to explain. His last film was a dog, was it? Yeah, the brown bunny. It was infamous because he got close of needing to give him an actual blowjob on camera. Buffalo 66 was great. Oh, he's a real talent. Yeah, yeah, and he wants you for the lead. Yeah. See, it's brilliant. <laughs> What you doing? I'm trying to work out what splethering means, but it's not in the dictionary. You clearly hate it. Just turn it down. Oh, I can't do that. This could be genius. I can't be the man who turned down the Beatles. It's not the Beatles. It might be the Beatles. It's not. <laughs> this kid's 19. God knows what goes on in his head. Why don't you give it to Rachel's kid, Jimmy? He's nine. He loves sci-fi. Brilliant. Hi, Rachel. Yeah. Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind, I can just pop to the restaurant. Yes, I know it. Two minutes. You'll hardly know I've been. <laughs> See you. Well, I think Brian can be a very dangerous director. Creatively? God, no. Physically. Oh. I've seen him kick people. Oh, come on. He has tantrums. Oh, I don't want that. I should turn it down. I mean, can you imagine? Ten weeks in Latvia with right. someone I love. Hi. Hello, Mark. <laughs> Very well, thanks. You? Uh, do you know Richard? Oh, um, well, yes, hi. Hi, we've met with, um, with Elizabeth. Oh. Yes, Hurley. M McGovern. So, Matt, tell me, what's so urgent? Well, I, I really need Jimmy to have a look at this. It's a sci-fi thing. Oh, um, all right. Well, would you like to join us? No. no. Actually, yeah, why not? Oh, I loved you in that thing, by the way. Which Thanks. one? The Notting Hill. Liz, it's quite a good role by Holby standards. It's about a woman who decides to kill her husband after he disables himself in an industrial accident in a kebab meat factory. And she also has a horsehair allergy which could be fun. Leon. It looks like I have the lead in this Vincent Gallo movie. He's calling tonight. Is it actually happening, or is it just L.A. chat? Yeah, it's happening, I think. I'll know tonight. OK, well, I'll keep the whole be scratchy woman open just in case. OK, good idea. Good girl. Bye. RV. So, where's your driver? He'll be here in a minute. I'm off to do Soderbergh's new one tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> it's crazy, we're in God. Miami and Washington and Puerto Rico and Cape Town. <laughs> Everyone's in it. Do you guys know Catherine Zeta Jones? Well, yes. But, um, no. But blimey, that's great. Oh, thank you. How's Elizabeth? Yes, yeah, she's good. She's good. She's got the um, big new Vincent Gallo film. It's very exciting. She's the lead. That's, that's great news. Oh, God. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, those two finally working together. Yeah. Why's that, then? Well, I mean, you know, they used to go out to get... Well, no, that's unfair of me. I mean, not go out, but one night or something, uh -huh. didn't they? Was it, uh... Did they? I'm sure they did. I mean, it was years back. Oh. Hasn't she told you about it? Oh, yeah, no, of course. 
I'm sure she has. Um, well, kind of. It's not the sort of thing she talks about. Yeah. Oh, my car's here. Bye, darling. Mm -hmm. um, if you could give this to Jimmy, that would be, oh, right. that would be great. Um, and tell him it's, uh, it's quite urgent. I'll buy him a football or something. All right. <laughs> and tell him to call me. It's quite urgent. So when did you last see Vincent? Oh, I don't know, ages ago. Mm. You seem very agitated. I'm not agitated. Mm. Oh. That'll be him. Go away, go away. Hello? Hey, Vincent. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm really excited to tell me about it. No, I didn't see your last one. I don't think people thought it was that bad, did they? You didn't go far enough with Chloe. I always commit myself to a director's vision, of course. So you want to go further this time? That really makes me feel good. Thank you so much for that. Okay. I... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. Jimmy! Uh, have you read it yet? So. No, forget your homework. This is much more important. I said I'd buy you a football. Yeah. I'm not going to buy you a cigarette. <laughs> That's really sweet of you. Thank you. All right, back at a 10, not 20. But don't tell your mum. That makes me feel good. Well, all right, OK. But read it, Jimmy, and call me back. Thanks so much for saying that. Yeah, OK. <clears throat> So he really wants me. Hmm. Tell me about it. Oh, no, no, no. That's just him trying to make it sound daring and exciting. Are you going to do it? I mean, uh, what's it about? It's a sexual road movie about a brother and sister fleeing their family across Mexico. Mm. So it's about incest mm. and Catholicism. Mm. Uh, we're going to be improvising the scenes as we go. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and you want to do that? If it's the new Buffalo 66, I'd love to do it. What if it's the new bloody awful whatever the other one's called with the blowjob? Well, honey, you never know, do you? And it's not like anyone else is offering me a movie at the moment, so this is great. Isn't it? Oh, would you rather I just sat around here doing nothing? I've got to meet this writer in an hour, so... Great, what did he think? Really? Really, that good? Oh. Um, adoption agency. Right, he thought it was radical. Oh, OK. But did you understand the plot? What do you mean it didn't matter? Oh, God. Well, I'd never have thought of it like that. Jimmy, this is brilliant. Keep talking. Keep saying things. The book's froddy. So is that, is that good? It's, it's good to be froddy. OK. Right. It looks like my grandmother. What do you think? I think it's radical. I was geeked. And not just cool. Astro cool. So why are you going to make me an offer? Well, what I need to do is take it to a publisher I know and, and generate some cash that way. Because I know I'm very hot at the moment. Do you? This genius director, Dave Beethoven, wants to do a film version of it. Oh, for God's sake. What? That is brilliant because he is the new... He is the new Takashi Shimizu. That's right. Dave's a great guy, and as a result, everyone is interested. Well, I need you to do me a favor, Kit. Give me two days, and I will get you a froddy offer. Because I love this material. You a big sci-fi fan, then? Yeah. Who are your BNAs? <laughs> B uh, BNAs. Uh... Your big name authors. Uh... Who do you like? Arthur C. Clarke? I haven't read him. Oh, well, Kit, you must. His novel of 2001 is amazing. I'm interested in the future, not in the past. <clears throat> you ready? Do you think I should be topless like it says? No, I don't think so. Shall I do a Spanish accent? No, I don't think so. OK. 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 Paolo, 
Why'd you run away from school? I don't wish to talk about this. But aren't your family worried? They'll be looking for you. I have no home now. You can be my home. Oh. I want to kiss you everywhere. Oh, Paolo. Oh, oh. oh Paolo. Oh. oh, what if my brother comes back? Uh, I, want, oh. I want to fuck you like you always wanted a man to fuck you. You never had the chance before, oh, yeah. until today, oh, here at this gas yeah. station. Oh, oh. That's a terrible line, isn't it? Oh, so I'm just hoping we could improvise around it. Well, should I just make it, I want to fuck you? I mean, that's pretty clear. Maybe keep here at this gas station, that might be important. No one would say that. Matt, can we just get on with this? From the top? Yeah. Hey, Paolo. Why'd you run away from school? I don't wish to talk about this. Aren't your family worried? I just want to fuck you in the gas station. Matthew! This is shit. We can't do this. We've got to. Why? You've done loads of big films. He knows you can act. He should just cast you. It's for the financiers. And maybe he doesn't know I can do this kind of material. I think he does. What does that mean? What do you mean? Well, well you know, I mean, since you had your fling together, the one you failed to mention to me. Matthew, I never had a fling with him. Oh, really? Yes, really. Stop being an asshole. I did have a life before you, you know. Well, he's trying it on again now, isn't he? Casting you in his porn film. Do you realize how insulting that is? This is a man that makes daring movies at open film festivals. Porn festivals? If he wanted to have sex with me, he would just take me for a drink. What? Stop being so paranoid and insecure, and can we get on with this, please? <laughs> I don't want to wear a jumper! No. Matthew? Is Liz still doing this Gallo sex film? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah? Great. Good for her. Well, tell her I'm going to let the whole be go unless she calls me before five. All right, buddy? Mm -hmm. And have you got me a deal yet on Kit's book? Uh, nearly. Uh, I gave it to Stephen. He's going to call me back. Well, what does Stephen think of it? Well, he's going to call me back. No, no, no. Don't wait for him to phone you. Go find him. I've given you a window with this. Seek him out. I didn't understand any of it. He uses a lot of long words. I spent the whole evening looking them up. What's a quadly bet, for God's sake? Oh, you have to look that up. I suppose it is quite complex stuff. Not to everyone's taste. I mean, genius, really. Well, it's lost on me, I'm afraid. But then, I don't understand lots of brilliant things, like Ezra Pound or Joyce. The Matrix really confuses me. Take it to Orion. They do all that sci-fi nonsense. But I have a suspicion it might just be a load of old shit. What? Really? Did you write any of your book? Had a good day today. On to page two. Hello? Hey, Sandra, how are you? Oh, what bad news? Oh, well, that's annoying. That's disappointing. No, we didn't improvise that much. No, but that was just me and Matt. He should have just skipped through that bit. So what was the reason? Which younger actress? Sandra, Gina Davis is older than me. Well, it's hurtful, Sandra. You can tell Vincent it's hurtful. In fact, you can tell Vincent I thought the brown bunny sucked. In fact, Sandra, you can tell him I hope we work together one day. Okay, bye. They wanted somebody younger. Bullshit. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, maybe it's for the best. It, it, it sounds awful. Yeah, I don't want to make that art house porn trash. Apparently, he found my performance a bit angry. Oh, I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> I'll do that Holby job for cash instead. It'll be good to do a job at home. Yeah. I'm just going to go to the loo. Yes, I forgot to tell her. Yes, I'm a brat. But you have got to get this job back. Well, how am I meant to do that, Matthew? It's gone. Well, I, I don't know. Isn't that what you agents do all day? 
No, what I do all day is manage my clients' careers. What I don't do all day is clear up messes made by their stupid fucking husbands who can't even pass on a simple chunting message. You would not get a job in my office. You have to get this job back. Otherwise, I am in shit. And I won't go down alone. I'll take you with me. I'm serious. I'll blame you. You wouldn't dare. she believed me before she believed you. Oh, yeah? Do you want to risk that? If you don't get it back, Leon, you will lose Elizabeth as a client and me as a friend. Neither of which is bothering me right now. Oh, come on, please, I'll buy something expensive. All right, I'll do what I can. Oh, and another thing, those chapters you sent me, thanks, but no thanks. No one understands kids' weird book. Isn't that because it's genius? No, Leon, it is not genius, it's just shit. Is it? I haven't read it. I thought you'd read it. You told me you had. No, I'm busy. That's why I gave it to you. Well, next time, read it first. Anyway, give Elizabeth a kiss from me. You were a long time. Yeah, it was your little tagine. Listen, sweetheart, this is your first producing job, right? You're in nappies. I'm sure the BBC will have you producing a costume drama in ten minutes, but as far as I'm concerned, you wouldn't know a film camera if it fell off a shelf and fucked you in the mouth. Now, if you ever want access to any of my clients ever again, you will get that role back for Elizabeth right now. Well, tell Susan Lynch you went with somebody younger. Well, she's not going to find out, is she? She's not going to watch the thing after you've kicked her off it, is she? You fucking idiot! Peter, we'll be doing scene 12. Do you know, I love the plot twist where you discover your sister's being put in horse hair on the pillow. And some of the best Holby episodes are like thrillers. So this way, it's too late to I didn't believe it. Of course you can. Good night. Come back! This is the director. Dave. Elizabeth! Oh, it's great to say. I'm so pleased you said yes to this. It's a fun role. I've been practicing my allergy acting. Nice. Um, yeah. Tell Tina we're going to need far more rash than that all over the face. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm surprised to find you doing a whole beef. I thought it was a daring script. What's happening with Hung, Drawn and Slaughtered? Yeah. We can't even get Brittany Murphy to read it. <laughs> Apparently someone told her agent the script was shit. It wasn't you, was it? Yeah, Steve Martin's very interested. He certainly read it. Does Steve Martin know that he knows me? Ah, uh, I don't know. He does know me. He may not know that. I'll phone and remind him. Get your office to phone my office with his office's number. Ooh. Hey, champagne. Stephen, what are we celebrating? I have had a brilliant day. Mm. I've just sold Kit's book to Orion for a couple of hundred grand. What? And it gets better. Steven Soderbergh's just offered half a mil for the film rights. He loves it. He thinks it's like Solaris with jokes. Jokes? What jokes? There's no jokes. Well, the splatterine's quite funny. He wants Clooney. Stephen, I brought you that book. Yeah, but Leon called me and told me you passed on the book. You did pass on it, didn't you? Well, yeah, but you said you thought it was a load of old shit. I do think it's a load of old shit, but I floated it past Orion. They love it. We're going to joint publish. Here she comes. I'm sorry. I'm late. I got lost. We only live there. Thank God they finally got valley parking in England. What? You haven't got valet parking here. Yeah, there's a guy outside in a red vest. Did you just give him your car keys? Yeah. Do you have valet parking here? No. Yeah, wait! I've seen you in red! They seem nice, man. Seem nice? They always seem nice to you! Oh, we... and a red vest! Right out there! Do you mean waste? Wait. Ridiculous. You can't blame the street signs. How long have you lived here, 